Good morning. So I was logged into YouTube this morning. What is that thing doing there? Anyway, um, and I noticed they had a new terms of service agreement. It starts on December 10th. And so I took the very boring task of reading the whole thing. And I went through and I read it. And I got to the bottom and it said you can review the old terms of service. We're going to just open this up here. Um, so I did. And I believe what I've discovered is this is in direct uh, response to the Prager University Prager U YouTube channel lawsuit. And I could go into a lot of stupid things that I learned in this, but it's boring as you, you got it. So we're going to skip all that and just go cut to the chase because you know I don't like to make long videos. And I know you don't like to watch long videos. So on the new terms of service, I put in the word publish and search for it. And you can see zero out of zero. So there are no publish words publish in the new terms of service agreement. Let's go to the old one. Put in publish, and there's three. Two out of three. One, two, three. And what they did, um, the base of the lawsuit, if you don't want to read it, Prager University noticed that by federal law, you can't be a publisher and a platform. They don't exist simultaneously. So you can either be a publisher and have control over the content, or you can be a platform and allow people to put content on there. They still have terms of service, so if you're going to go on there and be real rude, they'll uh, you can get your videos bounced. But they can't. This this might reduce shadow banning. This might reduce some of those things because now they're being held accountable. Um, and what's kind of funny down here at the very bottom, where you, I can't, I don't know if I can find it right now, but oh sure we can. We got a control F. Um, the indemnification basically says you can't sue them for anything and if you do you can get either some part of your year's income or five hundred dollars which I thought was ridiculous there it is five hundred bucks you get the amount of revenue YouTube has paid you from your use of the service in the 12 months before the date of notice and notice they're calling it a service now so they're clearly saying they're a platform which is going to change a lot of the stuff they've been doing but if you do run into trouble, go look up section 1983 of the Civil Rights Act. What that basically says, without getting technical, is if, if any organization like YouTube violates your civil rights, the individuals who do it are liable, so they can be sued. So they can put whatever agreement they want, and they can act how they do, but there's still other laws to protect you. And, you know, that's just something I wanted to share. So if you have any comments, do it. If not, we'll just keep traveling forward. Thanks a lot and have a good day.